Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to breaking news because for the first time during the TSEC season 19 Stockfish NNUE lost the game and I know I tell you the score however uh, it's also very interesting how that happened uh, another thing Stockfish and NUE lost to Komodo and Komodo uh, was the last engine in the standings before that game. So the leader lost to the last engine. That's very, very interesting. Uh, Komodo gonna play as white and Stockfish gonna play as black. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. Uh, first eight moves pre-arrange. So uh, let me just show you. We have E4, C5, Sicilian defense, Knight f3 d6 and d4 so open sicilian c takes on d4 knight takes on d4 knight f6 knight c3 uh, and a6 so neidorf uh, we have bishop e3 main line still and now e6 we have f3 b5 pretty standard and natural moves now we have queen d2 and here is the surprise the last move the last move of the of the book which is pre-arrange so stockfish is gonna be forced with not with the knight b to d7 this is the most popular move not with the bishop b7 this is the second um, best move but with queen c7 and if you play sicilian or against the sicilian queen to c7 is a very poor continuation and human doesn't play it often sometimes it happens but it's very interesting that for example after g4 68 percent of the games are are won by white so it's a you know very huge inaccuracy by black already in the pre-arrange uh, opening so that's probably why that happened it's pretty controversial however this is the round robin double round robin so the engine is gonna play the same opening with the with the opposite colors in the future so we also gonna see if the stockfish gonna gonna win against komodo with the opposite colors but not for now now uh, as i said g4 is the strongest move in the position and is the most popular however here komodo went for the castle and it's not like it's much worse move because black now have to choose how to continue and now if you watch my video where magnus carlsen uh, played that against peter Sfiedler, uh, you will know that uh, Gary Kasparov actually said that you cannot bring the queen to c7 together with the knight b to d7. Um, and he explained that because uh, of the sacrifice, for example, the knight can sacrifice on the, on the b5 with tempo and then can also pick up the pawn on, on d6 and black gonna be in the very sharp position. I show you that lines already, so if you are interested, check the link uh, over there, I show you couple of lines so i don't want to uh, show that again here uh, however i show you uh, another one so what would happen if b4 is played in the past it was quite popular because now knight a4 and this this pawn is under attack so uh, what black can can play here knight b to d7 actually sacrificing this pawn uh, but for the reason so queen before actually taking was played in the past but it's not really the greatest continuation because after d5 the queen is under attack so d5 is com coming with tempo so usually black would love to play d5 in the sicilian defense but it's not so easy but here it just comes with tempo so so very uh, very natural very nice continuation queen c3 would have to be played and after exchanging everything we have e5 and i hope you see that already knight b3 and then d4 so what's gonna happen here is after exchanging black gonna play with the extra piece of course for three pawns uh, but there is a one difference white doesn't have three connected pass pawns because uh, because there is one pawn here so if you compare to the to the variation I just mentioned before where you sacrifice the knight on b5 it's it's a difference okay so here actually black have a very nice continuation and shouldn't have a problems uh, in that game. However, there is one improvement in the position. 
g4 and g4 is a highly problematic of course g5 is coming so the knight would have to stay on h5 what in the sicilian is a pretty dangerous you know uh thing because the king still stays in the center so without this defender uh, it can be very problematic of course h6 can be played and it was played plenty times by human but the white got always the advantage and now whatever you play you can play this d5 uh, white first of course connect the rooks otherwise this rook could pick up for example on h1 so uh, first for example bishop h3 and then whatever black play we are gonna have g5 and after h takes on g5 h takes on g5 black have to do something with this knight and it's really com uh, problematic and white have very very nice game so we already know this is not the greatest move b4 is also uh, refuted here so what stockfish played is a uh, quite a novelty knight f to d7 uh remaneuvering the knight because stockfish knows or knows that this knight belongs to c6 uh just in the case if if any sacrifice this knight can be closer to the counterplay this knight always will you know jump to b4 and mount some interesting attack against them the the white king so here are the ideas uh now we have a3 by Komodo so preventing any b4 um, ideas we have bishop b7 couple of uh, very natural moves in this opening we have king b1 knight c6 as planned and now h4 so Komodo doesn't continue with g4 but h4 uh, which is also interesting of course it was blocked immediately by stockfish and now rook h3 with the idea of lifting the rook and putting the pressure on g7 so uh, this of course is not easy for black as this bishop cannot be uh, developed quite easily uh, so knight goes back to f6 as you see the knight just moved you know t twice so uh, in this opening we have a rook g3 now putting the pressure on on g7 and now rook d8 preparing d5 to push d5 but komodo answer with queen f2 creating very nice battery so it can be very unpleasant you know if this knight disappear and it can be very unpleasant uh, also in the right moment if if this pawn for example disappears this knight um, can be very annoying there are some always some tactics on e6 so rook and the queen on the on the corresponding diagonal uh, squares are not great idea in this case this is why we have rook d7 uh, now we have bishop e2 developing um, the bishop and here stockfish actually went for g6 it's very difficult to find a better move in this position uh, but of course this weakens the position of the of the pawns of the king so for example knight e6 can be played and after taking the knight the rook can take on g6 and you already see that it's very very dangerous the knight gonna be under attack and so on so how to continue uh, komodo didn't go for that komodo prepared that first f4 so the pawns are in the center uh, and now now stockfish tries to counter attack and play b4 before attacking the pawn and asking okay if you take on before interesting thing that the the engine shows that this is the best move in the position so stockfish told okay that's gonna be the best continuation and after knight before we have double attack on e4 so white would have to play something like bishop f3 and then d5 would be would be pretty strong and uh, white still stands slightly better but the game would be very very sharp and difficult to uh, to calculate even for the engines uh, i see the best move in the position is f5 and you can imagine all the answers how complicated the position is so it's very very unclear what would happen so now komodo didn't go for the best move in the position he went for this idea knight e6 sacrificing the knight we have f takes on e6 rook takes on g6 and now stockfish uh, could again go for b takes on c3 and um, and after rook f6 this pawn is also under attack so let's say knight d8 uh, and then f5 e5 
and probably bishop b6 kicking the queen a queen b8 and the game can continue but it looks like white half uh, solved most of the problems and black doesn't have much counterplay here so quite passive position uh, but the engine shows that this is equal so it's not easy actually to bite due to for example this rook on the seven rank uh, so for example you know maneuvers like queen g3 um, and queen g6 are not even possible because the rook can come for example to g7 so it's not easy to actually bite this position however here stockfish actually played a very very poor move uh, and and defend this knight is not really great because now Komodo starts to get the advantage uh, so it was you know not visible advantage so far however now uh, everything like just click and Komodo see that okay I have the better position a takes on b4 knight takes on b4 and now bishop b6 kicking the queen we have queen c8 so the queen stays on the on the c file together with the knight there is a very dangerous attack and now the knight on c3 actually is stuck in the defensive role here however it's not the bad thing because black has a huge problem now this knight is undefended so white can actually exploit that so pause the video and find the strongest continuation for white while i enjoy my cup of tea Okay, ready? I gave you the hint, so it shouldn't be difficult. First, uh, we sacrifice the exchange temporary. So, uh, rook f6, it's quite the forced variation. So, rook f6, and now queen d4, forking this undefended knight and the undefended rook so uh, black have to do something we have bishop e7 in our game and now simply queen b4 rook f4 winning that pawn so the position is now that white actually sacrifice only the exchange but have the compensation very active pieces and also one extra pawn we have bishop e3 now kicking the rook so rook f7 and now queen b3 still keeping an eye on the bishop on b7 but also preparing the battery to attack e6 and it looks like already very very dangerous we have rook g7 as bringing the rook to the defense of e6 from here wouldn't be that great also attacking g2 but komodo doesn't care bishop c4 so if black decide to take the pawn on g2 then of course we're gonna have attack on e6 so we have rook g6 this pawn is a uh, you know one of the main protector of the king very in important uh, pawn and now we have bishop f4 coordinating another attack look at this and now how would you defend as black this is great question if you play something like e5 then the problem is bishop f7 winning back the exchange and completely destroying the position of the of the of the king so that's not the greatest idea uh, queen d7 looks much better now the queen defends both of the uh, pawns however there is a problem after bishop d6 bishop d6 we have e5 pinning the the bishop so that means white just won uh, yet another pawn and probably the game uh, queen c7 actually now we don't have the protection of e6 so there is another problem bishop e6 of course bishop f7 is coming so uh, rook f8 with the attack on the bishop g3 defending and again white has two extra pawns uh, for sacrifice the exchange however it's uh, you know this knight for example gonna jump to very nice outpost on d5 and it's gonna be very very strong uh, gonna exchange for this bishop or this bishop so black is not going to have the pair of bishops so also is is a pretty good for white also not possible to play and finally castle uh, you know hide your king and uh, maybe you know just bishop d6 however of course now white gonna have the full initiative again won the pawn and this pawn probably also gonna fall uh, it can be attacked by the by the four pieces and also the knight uh, can can join pretty much easily uh, 
even this way maybe with the attacks on the another pawn on the rook very difficult to defend that position so this is why we have king f7 so stockfish says okay this pawn is more important this attack is just deadly i want to defend them the pawn on e6 and komodo said okay so i take this pawn for free so we have bishop d6 and now rook d8 attacking the bishop twice uh, now we have rook f1 with check and now again you cannot move the king for example king g7 bishop e7 is free bishop so that's not possible king e8 is also losing because after bishop e7 king e7 queen b4 and the queen gonna join the attack and as you already see that this is a pretty much problematic uh these are some mating ideas here so it's also not worth to play uh, and finally if you play something like bishop f6 which looks like pretty logical the problem is e5 pinning the the bishop and uh, the best what black can do is actually give back the exchange the problem is now we have the another tactic because this battery together with the watching at the at the b7 is is a huge problem because the the queen defends not only e6 but also the bishop so for example the bishop can pick up on e6 and if the queen takes then of course uh, it has to take otherwise the queen gonna be lost then the queen gonna pick up the, the bishop on the on the b7 square so bishop would have to go to g2 however rook f2 and where to move this bishop this is completely lost position bishop a8 staying on this diagonal makes some sense but now knight e2 and this knight gonna for example go to f4 or d4 uh, and put more pressure uh, on e6 e6 actually is undefendable also the rook can be under attack the pawn and so on so for example uh, let's say bishop e4 trying to maybe reinforce this way but as i said knight f4 wins the rook uh, and if the rook is moved then of course the, the the queen gonna be lost so it's it's completely unplayable if bishop h3 it looks like very logical defending e, e6 there is another problem knight e4 with the attack on the bishop bishop cannot go to f5 because this pawn actually is pinned so that would be free bishop so bishop g4 but now queen b6 uh, and now simply queen c7 is coming uh, and it's gonna be very difficult to stop that pawn so white gonna win that game even queen c4 uh, it does nothing now queen c7 is not the best but now we have queen b7 and now uh th there is no hope here let's say king g8 and after exchanging the stuff uh, we're gonna have a checkmate so it doesn't really matter what black plays we're gonna have a checkmate here the the queen gonna come um, and win the game so the only move in this position is actually rook f6 uh, but komodo simply exchanged the rook so we have rook f6 bishop f6 and now e5 defending the, the bishop and also attacking the opposite bishop so black doesn't have much choice i uh, can play bishop e7 but we have bishop h4 winning the pawn and now bishop e2 attacking this pawn and asking what you're gonna do about that because if you bring the king to g6 i'm gonna bring my queen uh, and you are in troubles in the you are in the huge troubles uh, also bishop d3 i would like to just show you what can happen uh, with a more forced variation uh, king h6 and now queen b4 attacking the bishop bishop g5 and now knight e4 is coming and uh, this bishop gonna be exchanged and the position gonna be open to the king so uh, of course bishop e4 is not possible because this is the checkmate in the next move you cannot stop of that checkmate so uh, bishop e3 would have to be played but then queen e1 again with the tempo and now if the bishop goes to uh, g5 it's gonna be exchanged and if find the safe place here it's safe for the bishop but not for the king queen c1 wins the game king g7 queen g5 and this is the first checkmate in three moves so uh it's really really very difficult position this pawn cannot be defended this is why we have bishop g5 by stockfish and now another beautiful move 
Knight a4, look at this, knight a4, how strong is that move? First of all, the queen can come to g3 and together with the bishop h5 is just deadly. This attack gonna be just deadly. Uh, so we have h4 protecting g3 and also moving the pawn. So the pawn, pawn cannot be taken. The problem is knight b6 now winning the piece, attacking the queen and queen has nowhere to go, only one square. Queen c6 is actually forced and now bishop f3 wins this bishop but did komodo play that no bishop h5 is stronger kicking the king far from the e6 so now e6 also gonna be under attack so we have king g7 and only now bishop f3 winning the material and here actually uh, as this pawn gonna be lost so stockfish decided to exchange the queens as well other move uh, could be maybe maybe queen e8 but uh, it's it's also losing um, the, the bishop maybe it would be uh, slightly better but it still doesn't change much so we have queen b5 bishop b7 uh, and now exchanging so queen b3 c takes on b3 so at least white doesn't have the past pawn protected you know past pawn uh, this double pawns looks like a weakness however now this pawn is under attack and it cannot be defended so we have a5 but now knight c4 uh, attacking this pawn and this is all game over there is no hope now uh, just couple of more moves so we have bishop f4 uh, knight a5 and after rook d7, bishop c8 attacking the rook, so rook d8, this bishop wins the pawn on e6, we have rook e8 attacking the bishop, bishop d7, rook d8, and now bishop h3, just solidifying the position is of course completely win, rook a8 trying to attack the, the knight, knight c4, and now bishop g5 we have b4 so start marching with the with the pawns uh, we have rook a4 trying to stop that as the as the knight would hang but now bishop d7 kicking the the rook away so we have rook a7 and now e6 and after e6 stockfish resign because the there is no way to stop both of the pawns uh, from promoting so uh, this is of course winning so what a game and uh, very interesting and very educational don't play queen c7 this is just bad first you have to bring bishop to b7 uh, and if you want to play queen c7 this knight belongs to c6 very important uh, if you want to go for this variation is the most popular however then you don't bring the queen to c7 uh, that's just bad move and, uh, and yeah if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and if you don't want to miss another exciting games and the news from the chess world press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one